I hope you guys are all having a gratifying day. Easy Auto Fix here and today we're gonna learn symptoms of a bad radiator fan. Some people call it a cooling fan. The purpose is to blow air through the radiator and the condenser. This lowers the coolant temperature going through your radiator to prevent the car from overheating. It also cools down the refrigerant going through the condenser that's part of the air conditioning system. Older cars have a mechanical radiator fan, while newer cars have an electric motor that rotates the fan. Today we'll be focusing on the electrical type. The cooling fan will be located towards the front of your car. The first symptom of a bad cooling fan is having your check engine light on. If it's faulty, these codes may show up. Now you can read these codes by going to the parts store near you and they'll most likely do it for free. Or you can buy the scanner that I have that's worth it, linked in the description below. Now you can still have a faulty radiator fan with no check engine light so let's move on to the next symptom. The second symptom is the radiator fan not working. If the fan's electrical motor malfunctions, it won't be able to rotate the blades. As a result, there won't be any air blowing through the radiator which can lead to more serious symptoms that we'll talk about today. The third symptom is having AC issues. In idle or driving at lower speeds, you'll notice your car not getting as cold as it normally does. This could be due to a defective cooling fan not blowing air through the condenser. You'll notice your AC improve when driving at higher speeds since there's more airflow. The fourth symptom is an overheating engine at lower speeds. When the radiator fan is unable to rotate the blades, there won't be any air to properly cool down the hot coolant passing through the radiator. This coolant then circulates back into the engine and increases the temperature. You might see a temperature light pop up on your dashboard. In this case, stop driving immediately and turn off your car. The fifth symptom is a blown cooling fan fuse. If the radiator fan has mechanical resistance, it could increase the current and pop the fuse. The purpose of a fuse is to melt at high current levels to stop electricity flow to protect components in the circuit. Make sure there isn't a torn wire in the circuit as this can cause a short and also blow a fuse. With that said, thank you guys for watching, make sure to like and subscribe so I can see you in the next one.